I'm going to cover how to diagnose resource usage issues in cPanel. Maybe you got a notice from your host telling you you're using too many resources or maybe your sites are just running slow. So I'm in my cPanel right now by A2 hosting on a shared account. This is my preferred hosting or shared, my preferred shared hosting provider. And I'll show you why. Let me pull up this video here of a couple different hosts running side by side. We got HostGator shared and then we got A2 hosting startup plan, which is $2.99 a month. The A2 hosting turbo plan, which is... $9.99 a month. And then finally, Vulture HF Cloudway is very high performance uh, VPS server right here. And it's all loading the same website. This is not your typical run of the mill default content WordPress website. This is a very bloated, heavy install that my actual local business runs. So check this out. You'll see why I like A2 hosting for my shared, uh, you know, for my shared servers. And th this goes for typically my lower traffic websites, the ones that are higher traffic, higher volume. And by that, I'm talking, say, more than 20,000 visitors a month. I go with Vulture HF. But for all of the others and dozens of the clients and many of the content sites I have, we just stick with A2 hosting. You'll see why here. Let me play it. Boom, Vulture HF, H2 Turbo, and then HostGator back there still kind of lagging behind. So you can see... Even on these A2 hosting platforms, they're damn near as fast as the Vulture HF. They're both, they're all three here on the right side of light. You're faster than HostGator shared, but A2 is a premium shared hosting provider. And you can see why. I mean, uh, on their plans at the $2.99 a month plan, you get that. Turbo plan, you get $9.99 a month. Let's watch it again. I love watching this video here. And A2 hosting is just so close to the Vulture HF Cloudways and it's a cheap shared platform. Anyways, that's enough of my chit chat about hosts. Let's jump into this here. So we go into my cPanel on A2 hosting and you'll see right here my CPU usage is incredibly freaking high, 97%. All right, 97%. Uh, my physical memory usage, not bad, only 22.9%. So, and um, what should I say? A2 limits you on the turbo plan. There's an upgrade, but they limit you to two gigabytes of physical memory, which is quite a bit. We've got probably a dozen sites on here that are pretty heavy running, but my CPU usage shouldn't be at 97%. Uh, I've noticed it a lot lower, like 10, 20%. And suddenly it's up at 97. So what's going on? And I got an email from them. Well, let's go in here to where we see resource usage down in metrics. That's what we're going to go to look for this. And let's see if we can identify when the issue started happening. That might reveal some insight into any changes that were made. You can see it CPU re uses, CPU resources were limited, IO resources were usage. You, I.O. You, resources were limited. Uh, and then click on usage, current usage. All right, so let's see what we got. And I guess my, yeah, you can see. So my my line is spiked up there. It looks like this green line is showing it came down and then it went right back up and it's just pegged right up there at the maximum. Uh, let's see if we can see when it happened. So time frame. Time frame, I'm going to select yesterday and today. And you can see right here, my CPU was pretty ordinarily, you know, kind of low, sub 10%, had a spike there. And then something happened at say 11 o'clock uh, yesterday evening. And that's just basically pegged my CPU usage up at the red line. So what is that? Well, we want to look, um, if, if there was anything we were working on, we would kind of, you know, look to that and see what we were doing at that time. But there was nothing I was working on. Everything was kind of running. So let's see what my issue is. What we can do here is go to snapshot and I'm going to put my snapshot to a time, you know, while our CPU was high. And that's pretty much every time period for the last 14 hours. Uh, but then we can do is go snapshot and select your time and day that it was running. Uh, this would have been in the time range here, so 39 minutes after November 11th, and we can see 125, 129 by these two processes. So these are processes IDs, these are the commands, this is the CPU that it's burning. Uh, so there's two of them here clearly that are causing problems, so now let's see what they are. And right here we can see, uh, I can't mouse over it exactly, but when you mouse over the command line, you see some more information. We can tell that that's being caused by a WP plugin. My 
W3 total cache plugin. And we can also see which directory that's in. And I can tell from that which website it's on. Let's see this other one. And that's also in the exact same directory and being caused by the A3 plugin. That seems to be a culprit. Let's just check this at another time and see what's going on. Uh, 134, 128. Right there, same command line, same plugin, same site, same command line, same plugin. So it's, so it's a problem in this case with my W3 total cache plugin, WordPress plugin on my server. So now I know what I can do. I can go into that WordPress install and disable or uninstall that WordPress plugin uh, or maybe update it or troubleshoot from there to you know ultimately eliminate this CPU usage. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's how you can diagnose your resource usage through cPanel. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, look for the No Bullshit Marketing Group on Facebook. That's my Facebook group, guys. I share more insight into WordPress and paid advertisements. I do a ton of paid advertising and share quite a few of my experiments and what I'm doing on there. So that's a wrap, guys. I'm signing off. I'll see you on the other side.